Fifth grade, lesson 62. This is on estimating arithmetic answers. Oh, that one's not working very good. We're going to use a different color of ink. Okay. <coughs> okay, so this is lesson 62, estimating arithmetic answers. All right, here's what the problem says. Estimate the product... of 29 and 21. That's the problem. Okay. All right. Now, let's talk about what this word estimate means. It's like rounding. You're going to round, okay? But when it says to estimate, you're going to round your problems before you work it. Okay. Okay. So, Whenever I'm talking about estimate, you're going to round your numbers before you perform the work of it. All right? And how are you going to round it? What is the highest place value on this number? Uh, like what do you mean? 29. What's the highest place value? I don't know what that means. Ones, tens. Oh, okay. What's the highest place value? Tens are the highest. Okay, so you're going to round this number to the tens spot. Okay. If this was 529, what's the highest place value? Five. And how would you round 529 to the nearest hundred? So, what would 529 be? Uh, Which hundred is it closest to? 500 or 600? 500. Very good. But because we're working with 29, you're looking at the highest place value, 29. Okay. And so, what would 29 be? 30. Estimate. Very good. And what would 21 be? 20. Very good. Okay, so you're basically just rounding, and we've learned rounding already. So 29 would become 30, and 21 would become 20. Okay, so we're done estimating. Okay. Now, let's answer the product of 30 and 20. What does product mean? Like the equal? The answer to what kind of problem? Multiplication. Multiplication. Very good. Product means <coughs> multiplication <coughs> answer. So here's what they're telling you to do. Estimate the multiplication answer of this and this. You put an H in that. Well, no, that's L and a T. Oh, okay. Okay? So product means a multiplication answer. So here's what they're saying. Listen. Estimate the multiplication answer of these two numbers. Okay. And now we've already estimated. Okay. So basically what they're asking us to do is to multiply these two problem, these two answer, um, numbers, and get our multiplication answer. Okay. So let's do that. 30 times 20. Okay. Okay. Uh, zero, zero times zero. 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 Zero times three is zero. zero. Two times zero is zero. zero. Two times three is uh, six. six. Okay? I'm going to bring everything down. Zero, zero, six. What is my answer? I believe you probably can't see it very 600. well. Six hundred. Six hundred. So, that problem we just answered, but we had to break it down first to figure out exactly what we're doing. Okay. Feel like you understand it now? Yeah. All right. Let's try another one. This one says to, I'm going to write it up here so that you get it really well. Estimate, again, estimate the sum of $8.95, $7.23, $11.42, and $6.89. Now here's what they say. By rounding to the nearest dollar before working it. So, our estimation here, because it's in dollar form, okay. we're going to round it to the nearest dollar is what they want us to do. So $8.95 is really what? Closest to the rounding to the nearest dollar. Um, it would be $9. $9, okay? So I'm going to scratch that out and write down $9 here. 
for that one. Now let's work with seven dollars and twenty-three cents. Okay. It'll What's seven dollars? Seven dollars. Okay. <coughs> Eleven forty-two. Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. And six dollars. And I mean seven dollars. Seven dollars. Okay. So we estimated all of those. Now, what did they want us to estimate? The sum. What is sum? The nearest to the answer uh, to what kind of problem? Division. Adding. Really? Answer to an adding problem. Okay. So what do they want me to do with these numbers? Add them. Add them. So when they ask for the sum, that should trigger your mind to go, I'm going to be adding these numbers. Okay. Okay. So 11 plus 9 plus 7 plus 7. What does that equal? Well, I'm going to take 11 and 9, and that equals 20. Okay. 27, 34. So, the answer would be $34. Okay. Feel like you got it? Yep. All right. Last problem that we're going to work with, and we'll be done with our lesson. We'll draw a rectangle up here. And this one's going to be 78 millimeters. That's what that MM stands for. Okay. This one is going to be 31 millimeters, this side. Okay? Now, here's what they say. They want me to estimate the perimeter. Perimeter. Do you remember what perimeter is? No. Perimeter is the distance around something. So, it's kind of like a fence in your yard. This would be our fence. <coughs> we want to know how much fencing do we have to buy. Okay, so you're going this plus this plus this plus this. That's what perimeter is. Now, they want us to round the length and the width to the nearest 10 millimeters. Okay. So they're wanting you to round it to the nearest tenths place, tens place. Okay, so what would this turn into? Uh, 80. 80. <coughs> that would be 30. And this would be 30. Excellent. Okay, so if I was to find the perimeter of this, what would I do? You would add, like, just double both of them, because, mm -hmm. like, 80 okay. and 80 because and Because this is 30 30. also what? 80. This is also going to be 80, and this is also going to be 30. 30. Very good. Okay, so 80 plus 30 plus 80 plus 30. 80 plus 30 plus 80 plus 30 equals... 8 times 2 is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 to 1, 22. The answer is 220 millimeters, since we're working with millimeters. Feel like you got it? That's lesson 62.